Firmakaya are pleased to introduce our new improved wet abrasive blasting pot. The addition of the new blasting pots to our existing fleet of blast equipment increases our ability to offer a wide range of wet blasting solutions, utilizing the most recent technology and providing the best user experience. After extensive research, development and feedback from our existing clients, our new design now features. The integrated control panel is a closed all-in-one unit where all of the vessel's main operating features are housed. This removes the need to constantly work around the vessel and helps reduce issues commonly associated with pressure settings. The new control functions and displays allow the user to operate and maintain this vessel more easily. The conical design allows for a more consistent mix of media and water, which in turn makes for a clearer flow of the blast media. This new design helps to eliminate vessel blockages, simpler drain down process and easier to access for maintenance. Follow this guide to set up, refill and close down the blast vessel. Before use, ensure blasting pots are in a safe and secure area, preferably in a lockable compound. Ensure the blasting pots are in a safe working area, easy to access and not obstructing pathways or traffic. Make sure the area is as flat as possible and brakes applied. To set up the blast pots, follow this procedure. Place a hose pipe through the top of the vessel and open the overflow valve which is located at the side of the machine. Fill the vessel with water until water starts to come through the overflow valve, then turn off the water. Fill the vessel with the correct amount of grit, ensuring the overflow valve is open. When this has been completed, close the overflow valve. After the initial fill of the pot, Connect the mains water supply to the connector on the machine with a Jubilee clip. Ensure that there is no interruption of water supply to the machine while it's running, as this may cause damage to the pump. Connect the airline from the compressor to the airline connectors on the vessel. Ensure the use of a whip check safety device. Air supply must not exceed 120 psi or 8 bar. Connect the blast hose to the pot, ensuring all the whip checks and clips are secure. Connect the yellow and green airlines to the control panel. Be careful not to over-tighten the fittings. To operate the blast pots, follow this procedure. The overflow valve needs to be closed. Grit valve and wash water valve needs to remain closed. Turn on the water supply. Open the air inlet valve and the pump will begin to operate. Ensure the hopper and top tank seal is free from grit. Water will rise in the vessel. When it is visible inside the hopper, pull up the handle connected to the top tank seal. Hold the handle firmly upwards until the pressure in the vessel starts to rise. The pressure will self-regulate up to 12 bar, then stop. Turn the grit control valve to number 1 and open the main grit valve. Open the user control valve on the control panel. Release the emergency stop. The blasting vessel is now ready to operate. The operative blasting can advise the pot supervisor that enough grit and water is being supplied. If a greater ratio of grit to water is required, the grit control valve can be adjusted accordingly. To refill the blast pots, follow this procedure. Cease all blasting activity and release the dead man handle on the blasting hose. Close the user control valve. Press the emergency stop on the control panel. Close the air inlet valve. Open the overflow valve which will depressurize the vessel. Fill the vessel with the correct amount of grit. When this has been completed, shut the overflow valve. Open the air inlet valve the pump will begin to operate. The overflow valve needs to be closed. Ensure the hopper and top tank seal is free from grit by using the grit rinse valve. Water will rise in the vessel. When it is visible inside the hopper, pull up the handle connected to the top tank seal. Hold the handle firmly upwards until the pressure in the vessel starts to rise. The pressure shall self-regulate up to 12 bar then stop. 
Open the user control valve on the control panel. Release the emergency stop. The blasting vessel is now ready to operate. The operative blasting can advise the pot supervisor that enough grit and water is being supplied. If a greater ratio of grit to water is required, the grit control valve can be adjusted accordingly. When the surface is sufficiently cleaned after blasting, you will need to wash down and dry the surface. Wash down consists of water only. Shut the grit valve and open the wash water valve. Using water only, aim the blasting hose at the surface, washing away any residual debris. When wash down is sufficiently completed, close the wash water valve and dry with compressor air only until the surface is adequately prepared, approximately five minutes. To shut down the blast pot, follow this procedure. Cease all blasting activity and release the dead man handle on the blasting hose. Close the user control valve, press the emergency stop button on the control panel. Close the air inlet valve. Open the overflow valve and depressurize the vessel. Open the drain down valve and empty all remaining water and grit from inside the vessel. Once empty, close the drain down valve. To recommence blasting at the next shift, repeat the blasting pot operation procedure. If the project is completed, disconnect the blasting hose, compressor hose and green and yellow airlines. Clean and coil all hoses, clean the external of the pot and return all equipment to Thermac Hire. For more information on blasting solutions from Thermac Hire, call 0800 018 2932 or email sales at thermac.com. Alternatively, visit our website www.thermac.com.